Hey, what's up guys? Brian here from Directus. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Directus Content MCP server inside Raycast. So Raycast uh, recently added support for MCP servers and a couple things that we're gonna to wanna to do, right? If you don't have Node.js already installed on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to do that. So if you're a non-developer, Node.js is just a JavaScript runtime that allows you to run these MCP servers locally, which is the safest way to do so as of the time of this video. And you will need it to actually run the MCP servers. So you can go to nodejs.org slash download or just search that up in Google. Make sure you download and install Node. Now next, if we look at Raycast, um, their documentation has a nice little pro tip. So I'm just gonna go to our Directus MCP server documentation. I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna open up Raycast and hit install server. Now, because I've already got this JSON copied, uh, it is basically picking that up inside Raycast. And all I have to do is go to my Directus instance and create a token and grab the URL. So I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna go into my Directus instance. If you're on Directus Cloud, it will look like this, .directus.app. If you are self-hosting Directus, you know, obviously it's gonna be at your URL. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna hit uh, create a token under my specific user. And I'm gonna make sure that I save that. And then I'm just gonna open Raycast up again, paste that token in here. And then I'm also gonna copy and paste just the base URL of my Directus instance. We'll hit that. And then I'm gonna do command enter to install that MCP server. And now once that's done, can I actually drag this to the middle? Is there a way to, uh, I don't guess I can make that any bigger, but uh, what I could do now is just hit at Directus and I can have a conversation with my Directus instance. You know, how many files are in my Directus CMS? Now, <clears throat> using this on Raycast, it will often prompt you to allow tool access. You'll have to use like the command key, command enter to work. Uh, but you can see here it is calling read files and we can see there's 44 files in our CMS. So you're probably gonna want to experiment with all the different models that are available under Raycast. But one tip that I can give you um, is go to the Raycast settings and under your extensions, make sure you search for MCP and where it says ask Directus once you've installed this, add a custom instruction that says, um, Make sure you always call the system prompt tool first. Uh, this is just based on my own testing with the Raycast MCP. Um, you know, using Claude Desktop, this tool, it, like it does better with the tool calling than I've observed here. So if I go in and I make this change, uh, typically we'll get the behavior that we want now. We're gonna say, okay, how many blog posts are there? Okay, so now we can see it is running that system prompt and it's prompt us for uh, the ability to run that tool. And this is kind of the logical progression we should see where it says system prompt, uh, then it reads the collections and then it will pick up the schema from that and then we can read our items. So how many of those are about rabbits. I think most of them are, uh, but we'll see what this comes up with. There are three blog posts about rabbits, right? Excellent. All right, so that is the Directus MCP connecting that with Raycast. Make sure you stay tuned for more videos on the Directus MCP server so you can figure out the best use cases and uh, the ways to use this tool. We'll catch you on the next video.